Let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome in. Got another shop video for you here. It is a cool 95 degrees in the garage right now, so um, excuse us if we're shivering and we're chilly. Uh, today, we're going to address a few more issues on my 2020 Pro XP. One of the last videos, probably the last one, we got the clutch kit from Crash City Off-Road. That's working great. So that was a big thing we checked off. Next thing is sloppiness in the front end. In one of the videos from our recent Tennessee trip, uh, we had a rough day and we were checking the machines out. We shook my tire a bit, felt some slop, and uh, thought it was a ball joint again. Well, it turned out it was just the whole A-arm. We've already got it all taken apart. We've done a bunch of videos where we're tearing apart my machine. So I didn't think we need to cover it again. We've got the bolts out, but just to show you guys a little bit, the lovely model dude here is gonna kind of wiggle it. And we have slop in multiple areas. We have the whole bolt moving. Thank you, Vanna. And it's probably hard to see, but these holes are kind of egged out. So now my lovely assistant has the stock bushings and he's gonna give them a little wiggle. And you can see they are not tight to the bushing. Uh, one of them we measured, and I wanna say it was like 30, 40 thou clearance. So today we're gonna address both of those issues. First, the bushings. We got them from Performance Side-by-Side -side Bushings. Uh, I did a lot of research, and uh, a lot of people use them, Garage Products, or Sandcraft and the sandcraft ones are delrin these ones and the garage products were the oil filled uhmw and uh, i don't know a lot of people on the facebook groups and forums really had good things to say about these guys so i decided to give them a try and uh another reason i went on their instagram and he has a post and he has a chicken sitting on a cnc machine and uh you know you gotta love that like i was saying they are oil filled uhmw for the small ones you get new caps with o-rings so this will be replacing this on the long side it gets a little more interesting here's your factory setup and this is what you replace it with so you're actually eliminating the little oops end caps and just running this and it will ride on the pin and if you look inside this bushing there's an o-ring so when we first looked at it we were we were definitely a little confused by that but uh, we figured it out everything measures out right but those long bushings are actually going to stick out of the a-arm a bit along with that pin 90 thousandths about 90 thousandths and per side. per side and uh yeah you eliminate the little end caps so that's going to be the new setup there so as far as the egged out holes uh the solution that uh, i'm gonna try first is a frame stiffener from high lifter uh, i know some people commented on one of the videos about the little step washers but uh this doesn't require welding and uh, i found this on sale for like 109 bucks so i figured it was worth trying so here's the piece here uh you can see it's just gonna kind of go up under the subframe and these will go around your existing uh, ar mounts so your bolts will run through here the subframe ar mount a arm and then same thing over here and here they also provided longer hardware so that'll be nice and you can i can already tell that these bolts through here are a lot tighter fit than what the egg egged out ones are right now it's it's real sloppy so originally i was going to go with the super atv one i don't remember if it's the front or the back and uh they're not all welded like it looks like it just has a separate piece that you bolt in 
and uh, I didn't understand the concept of that. Came across this high lifter one. It was on sale, so I pulled the trigger. I mean, they're pretty thick. Seems pretty beefy, and uh, hope I'm hoping this uh, solves the problem here. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so thanks again to my lovely assistant, Dude Vanna, back there. Uh, did a real nice job holding up the parts. So we have done a video where we went over the bushings. So I probably won't go into too much depth on this. A uh, couple reasons we already showed it, like I said. And it's hotter than hell, and uh, the cameras are going to overheat. And not much I can do about that. Uh, we're going to overheat, so there's going to be a lot of twisted T's running through our system to keep us cool and safe on a hot day. So I'll catch back up with you guys when we're going to put a set of the new performance side-by-side -side bushings in the Super ATV ARs. All right guys, we got all the old stuff out. Uh, got them cleaned up. So we're gonna install the new ones. I apologize for the fan noise. Uh, I turned one fan off, we're leaving one on. I'm sorry, but it's hotter than hell in here. We're up to 97, so it is what it is. But uh, the install on these is gonna be pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll start with the small guy. And uh, we're gonna pop this one in, and then we can pop the caps in. I forgot to mention these bushings, also made in the USA. It's America, dude, learn the rules. <laughs> Other thing I forgot to mention is when you look on their website, you look at bushings, they'll say, uh, do you need to add a grease zerk fitting or do you already have one? Uh, in my case, I already have them with the Super ATV A-arms, and that's on the long side. If you don't have them, you'll have to put them in. Take the new one, and we'll gently tap her in. And then it'll go down and shoulder in the, uh, in the hole here. The stock ones had these little clips that we had to pull out and i don't know if it's going to show up on camera but there is a groove in there and with the new bushings uh they're not going to go in so dude has those orb bushings in his orb arms and he doesn't remember seeing any sort of clip so i don't think we're going to run a clip uh if you're really supposed to uh, i'm sure someone's going to roast me in the comments which is fine but uh you know where the hell is the bushing going to go anyway? So yeah, we're going to have to press these in. They are tight. The factory ones, you could wobble them in here. They were super sloppy. So I don't know, they don't say anything about putting any grease in these. But uh, we're doing it anyways. We're rebels, we're outlaws. And, uh, you know, just making decisions on the fly here haphazardly. Ow. What do you mean? What are you, no, no. What are you doing? I don't know. Just pick up Oh, the, this thing? Yeah, like... I thought there was... You can, but it's it's off right now. It's on Zoom. Dude, how does this thing f***ing move? Oh. So, I don't think it is going to show on camera, but I just uh, squeeze these in a vise, and now they're in. So gonna do the other side this is the one with the two bushings we'll pop them off the pin set the pin aside set that aside the important thing on this one that o-ring there that I hope you can see is gonna be going towards the outside and it's got a heavier taper so that's going down and we will 
gently tap this one in. Probably hit. And we'll do it for the other side. Same process. Now we're going to pack this side full of grease and uh, tap this pin in. Yeah. So here's the finished product, the small side and the big side. And you can see they stick out instead of having the caps. And uh, it's kind of what it looks like. Pretty interesting. So we'll throw you a time lapse and uh, we're going to get all the other ones installed and then we can start putting the machine back together and we also have to add that frame stiffener when we do this too and then we don't know how the skid plate's going to work with that frame stiffener but it uh, feels like it's something important I got to address so we'll deal with it. And then, uh, then we can start installing the A-arm. How's that side look? Looks good. Easy, dude. It moves real easy. I see that. God damn it. Oh, it's tight. A lot tighter than before, huh? Eh? You got hardware? Yeah. What do you, what do you got going on here? I can't, I can't go here to the, I'll use my ass to be right in front of the camera. Dude, that's what the people want to see. Great. Someone had your calendar. Dude, you can be January. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, we got the lowers in. Uh, we just have the bolts run through, but this is kind of how it's going to look. You can see the new plate. It just goes around the existing A-arm mounting tabs. And uh, yeah, looks good. We had to finesse it on, GoPro overheated during the process there, but uh, we got it. Hey, uh, do Dana White. So we got the lovely assistant coming up. Uh, we're going to do the same scientific test that we did before, and he'll give it a wiggle. And yeah, really not much of anything. Super excited about this. So we're going to get this thing slapped back together. I would say I'm going to throw you to time lapse, but uh, it's hot and it ain't going to work. All right, so we're pretty much done with this frame stiffener bushing project. Uh, all we really have to do is put the tires on, put that little front plastic piece on. Uh, we do have some leftover bolts and a leftover piece of skid plate that we had to cut off. Uh, it don't work. They do say it's, it doesn't work with an aftermarket skid plate, and they're not lying. I knew that going into this, and uh, you know I was ready to do whatever I had to do to get that frame stiffener on, so we just cut a chunk off. Here's what we're looking at underneath now. And then, yeah, we had to cut the chunk from right there, because it is... It hangs down too low and these are the mounts for the skid plate so that's no longer gonna work we'll see if I can do this and film uh, but it's kind of like this type of situation so that just won't work but oh well but it's all on there now front ends gonna be tight I'm happy about that so just gonna get it back together and uh, she's ready to roll for the Badlands. So that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, snap.